Hello everyone, welcome to the Sabula Tech channel on YouTube. This is gonna be a video that discusses, gonna revisit a topic we've done in a video before about why you wanna dry Lexan and polycarbonate plastic before you try and do thermal forming. All right everyone, so here are some bodies that all have symptoms of drying not being done properly on them before they were run. This one is an example of one we actually did many years ago Actually, this was the very first mold we ever ran on our equipment in our shop. And this is a very extreme example. It's a combination of it wasn't dry plus the heat was, it was heated up too long. That's why it's so extreme. But there is huge air bubbles in this plastic. And that's because of the moisture in there is turning to a vapor and causing all these air bubbles to form in the plastic. It kind of has a cool effect if you could harness it in some way, uh, you might get a cool paint effect out of it. Of course, your windows, unfortunately, would still be uh, looking bad. You could probably cut those out and maybe put some plastic in there. But yeah, this was a an, uh, very first one we ever ran, actually. We use it now as a protective cover for the mold in storage. That's about it. Over here, these, on the other hand, are a little more subtle. This is a Jarex T-body, and We'll show some close-up pictures here. And then we have this one over here that is our Shreveport one that we just did recently when we first did our first test run of this mold again uh, for production. And they all have tiny little, tiny, tiny little holes of air trapped inside of them. And it kind of, is a, kind of gives it a little rash look. And that's all just, they weren't dried long enough. It was one of those, we did it, we ran it, we saw, oh, that's really bad. Got to leave the plastic in the drying oven a little bit longer, so we ran it another, I think, 15 to 20 minutes in the oven to get it dried out completely. We kind of jumped the gun a little bit, wishful thinking that they were, you know, okay. And this actually does not have the kind of cool effect that this one does. It just looks like it's kind of covered in dust, but it's it's really on the inside pretty bad as well. You notice it, especially where the, you, you have film that kind of hides it a little bit on the outside depending if you got our new film or our old film that's the, the new film is very much more uh clear and the other one's more cloudy and kind of hides it a little bit if you're not at the right angle it can make it a little hard to see but yeah so we'll show some closer pictures if you haven't seen it already in, in the video here and you'll see another example you gotta dry your plastic before you run it and that's not just for polycarbonate all plastics pretty much require some drying out depending on the environment you're in before you want to run them otherwise you can run into this problem with it have a great day thanks for watching